Hello and welcome to Pile Up. This is a strategic building game from developer Remove and publisher Next In Game. It is a demo available as part of Steam Base Builder Fest, and uh, the game is scheduled to release in the second quarter of this year. In this game, we build houses, fulfill our people's requests, and manage our risky buildings in different ways on a very small island. The game looks very chill, but in fact, it's deceiving. Uh, it actually will give you um, some challenges to deal with, so it is not one of those chill builders that uh, that it kind of looks like just at a glance. So let's go ahead and jump in to, to the game and look at the tutorial and see what um, what what the the game is all about. Yes, we want to learn about the island. In Pileup, your goal is to increase the population of the island as much as possible. As your island's population increases, your island will level up. To increase the population, you need to build houses. You can select the buildings below using left click. So we have just one building available right now, a home office, a fine piece of art. And we can place that literally anywhere on this surface we want to, and it looks like it can even overhang a little bit, which is kind of interesting. We'll give it a try. There we go. Fantastic. You can also deselect the selected building with a right click. Okay. This time I will give you more buildings to help you get used to. Used to the game. Now you can place these buildings you wish using left click. So we have one additional home office, two gardenless houses, one big house, and one portable house. Portables people are small, so we piled up 12 of them inside. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we'll do the big house first, because, well, it's big. Uh, we can put that right up against a building, or you can put space in between if you'd like. We'll do, actually, we'll do some space here just to show that you can do space. Like that. Oh, and it builds uh, supports down if you build over the edges. That's nice. Is there a way to turn it? No, I don't think so. Uh, we could squeeze this building in here, too, or we could attach it somewhere else. We could even build it up on top, like that. So it kind of gives you that vibe, that feel of, um, you know, those those sort of idle t uh, city builders like um, townscapes, I think, maybe. But um, it's quite a bit different. Um, it says it's quite a bit different, which we will hopefully learn uh, very soon. Uh, I see already that there are these icons here, and I'm not sure what the icons do yet. Because we've literally gone further than I got when I did my test test play, just to test everything out. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we'll have to see what this what those mean. If you have no cards left, you can proceed to the next round by using the space key or the turn button at the bottom right. This situation is a little more complex. I think you need a better angle. Oh, maybe we can rotate then. You can use the A and D keys to raise the ca uh, to rotate, and the W S keys to raise the camera. Okay, so it's more like you're moving your perspective. W A S T and R keys to find a suitable area to place the buildings you have. Be careful; you can't place the you can't place buildings on top of gardens or roofs. So we have another home office and a gardenless house. Okay, well, we can do the home office first, that's fine. And we can find a good place to, to put this in. Um, maybe? It seems to want to attach to certain places. Um, but it's always red. Oh, wait, I saw one. Okay, we'll go there then. We're still complaining about power and things, so we might... Um, oh, let's see, these are gardens. I gotcha. Okay. And we can't place it on gardens or on roofs, so we might have to just place this on top of the other one we just put in. Which I think is fine. Let's do that. Well, pretty good for your first land. Now it's time for a critical topic. You've been wondering, what, what are those colorful bubbles in the buildings, right? Uh, yes. Those are the needs of the people. In order to keep your island alive, you need to keep your citizens happy. So I'm guessing that's power. Maybe heat or gas? Water? I'll give you a building to provide some of those needs. Use it carefully. This one is a gas tank. Just mix with some air and everyone is happy. Oh, jeez. 
It is explosive. The glowing red circle at the bottom left of the card tells you that it's explosive. Danger. This building can explode when in contact with l igniting buildings like electricity. Okay. So we need to be able to place this someplace. You can always use a control key to see in a top down. Ooh. Interesting. I don't have a whole lot of choice on where to place this. I guess we could place it here. It's not going to make everybody happy, but it'll make the people who are complaining happy. But of course, we can't put this anywhere near a uh, electricity source. You can also see statistics of your island on the lower left menu. So yeah, we have a bit of a problem with happiness. Congratulations, you are now ready to build your own island. I wish you explosion-free days. Why, thank you. Okay, so now we just play. The tutorial was, was simple. Now we can just play a level or play a, an island and see how that works out. This island is called Wally Land. Citizens are called uh, Wallyites. Sure. <laughs> and here we are. Another very basic Wally area. Okay, three home offices, two gardenless houses, a portable house, and a small house. Portable house is people are small. Okay, so small houses don't ask why there are three people inside. Okay, I won't. Well, let's see. We could start with some of these. Maybe I won't do the overhang thing. Maybe we could. Um, maybe I'll wait. I'll do the home offices because they're a little bit bigger. And I'll overhang those a bit off to the side here or off to that side there. And then we could do some of these gardenless houses right next to. And then maybe another home office off that side there. The portable house is not quite going to fit there. Wow, those are small, small houses. It's going to fit there, but not quite fit snugly there. But maybe we want to do a second level anyway. Now we have another home office. We could rotate and shove that in there. That kind of, kind of fits nicely. Wally Land. Can I put the small one still? Or are you going to make me... Ah, we made it to 200. Okay. So now we get those three small houses still, plus a house factory it will generate a house until it drains out. A source factory will generate source buildings until it drains out. And a support. You can't break physics rules if you wrote them. All right, so we should probably work on the factory. These don't have any, um, any flaws to them. Maybe we want to just kind of hang it out over here, off the corner. Maybe even just like that. And then maybe this one too, right next to it. Let's see these small houses up. Are these a small small house? Yes, small house. There. Maybe like one right here. Three people inside there. Alright, so this should generate some buildings for us. And then support. Oh, I see. Okay. It kind of is just like a cantilevered uh, support arm that doesn't necessarily... Um... Well, I guess it has some. Yeah, it has a cantilever there, too, but it's got some legs there. Okay, so I guess we click space to proceed to the next level. We gained a couple of buildings from these. We have two gardenless houses and an electric generator. This has a risk of igniting. Uh, this building triggers some effects like explosive. Okay. Well, we want to put this in anyway. Uh, someplace where it's going to affect all of the... Of course not. Can I put it up there? Yeah, but it doesn't affect this one, then. Well, I kind of did this poorly, then, didn't I? Already succeeding where I have failed. Ooh, maybe right there. Crazy position. Uh, gardenless house. Okay, we can put maybe one of those up here. How do I know if these are going to require electricity or not, though? Is there any way to know? Can I put it like, ooh, it's just crazy enough to work. I was happy about something. Okay, so I guess we can do a uh, another turn here. Music's very chill, at least. Uh, this one has a roof. You can't place any object on top of this building. It is a park, okay. And then two gardenless houses. So the park uh, is the green one here. 
and we want it to service both of those green uh, those green nodes, those green whatevers, green requirements. So I think we could put it maybe even like this weirdly. It's kind of fun. Some uh, nice support there. And then more gardenless houses. So they're the ones that want the gardens. It would make sense if they were. Yep. And then we could do another one right on top of that. Like that. Excellent. Next turn. There's also different stats here, too. Uh, we have happy and sad people. Oh, and, and dead people, too. I and mean, we don't have any of those, but... Day three. Time, four and a half minutes. The gas tanks. Okay, so we know about this one. This is explosive. It can't be put next to the electricity. Uh, but it needs to be put somewhere to fuel these guys. Can I put it, like, up here? Yeah, I mean, I have, I have some over on the other side of the place, but... We could at least put one up here or something weird like that to get these all happy. And that gets us past the 40%, or, well, now 43%. So that's good. And in a home office. Let's see. We could slot that in. I think that's going to require electricity. It's slotted in here. Like that. Great. Next turn. This gives us a water tank, but be careful, it leaks, and that means that it will destroy what's below it ne the next turn, excluding the same building or support buildings, okay, in a small house. So we we'll probably want to put this on the ground floor if we can then. That seems, ooh, that's even better. Ooh, that's even better, better. I can't get it under there, though. Best I could do is that one, there at least, or we could come over here. Then I missed those. And I sure don't want to put it... I guess I should have saved some space on this support. I think we'll go right... Here. That'll give me five of them. Otherwise, my other... Next best bet is five there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'll go over here anyway. There we go. And then we can do a small house. Let's see. Where do I want to put this one? So it'd be good to remember which types of houses require which types of services. So that we can maybe group them together. And, uh, you know, get some benefit from it. Ah, another park. Uh, we don't actually need this park yet. Uh, why don't we do another home office and just pile it on? And I think I'll wait on that park if I can. No, you're going to make me place it? Okay, I have to place it. Well, then maybe I should put it, like, over here? I guess you can put it over top of the smokestacks. Next turn. Alright, another water tank. Well, that's good. We can get these over here watered up then. Um, maybe like that. Hang it off the edge. And then a portable house. Put that in there. That needs gas, though. Yes, yeah, so we, we need gas over here a bit. Yeah, they have three, three gas nodes, and I think that's it. Which is kind of pretty good. Uh, our people happiness here is um, only 32 sad out of 423, so that's pretty good. Again, a home office. And again, I'm just going to keep piling on here, I think. Or maybe we could put it, like, over here just for something different. It looks like our one factory is done now. A portable house. Put one in there the last time. These take gas, though, if I remember correctly now. So let's maybe put this over here. Uh, maybe right there. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Next. So we haven't gotten any more factories. Apartment complex. The walls are thin. 
I'm gonna guess this is gonna require a decent amount of services. I don't know if it'll need gas, but probably electricity. Uh, water would be good. Maybe we put it right here next to the water tank. Just gas. Did I only see gas on that? Interesting. Interesting. Another portable house. Build that on top. There we go. Next. We could use one more gas tank. Electric generator. Perfect, thank you. We definitely don't need this. But we could put it out anyway, someplace. I don't really need it that close to the other one. I'll put it out here, I guess. Then another home office. Stack this kind of weird like that, maybe? Next. I guess this bar is progressing. I don't know if that's... The objective there, or if that's something else there? A small house. Just electricity for you. Okay. One of these days I will remember all of those. And another apartment complex, which we found out just needs gas. So let's build that. Mm. Can it be built like... It could be built there. I don't like it, but it could be built there. How about we build it kind of weird like this? And then we have to select a card. Internet Satellite. Each satellite gives you either a casino or support every three, two, one turns. Toy Store. Get two house factories and one casino when this building is played. Or Dump. You can pass the round even though you still have a building left. One building for each dump. Why don't we do... Internet Satellite. Okay. And then we have a Source Factory, so we'll want to put that down as well as a House Factory. Let's just add those out here again. Maybe even do them over here. Oops. Then we have a support thingy again. Which I kinda don't care about. This needs to be a roof. We've got roofs. Oh yes. Put that on top of the apartment building that's way up there like that. That's nice. And then and then we could build this out here, which means we can build above that water tank then, which might be useful. Next, please. Yes, yeah, so we've gotten to another level here is what, what's going on. Uh, let's see. Can I have... I need gas, not electric. Tesla helped. Good guy. Uh-huh. Well... I think I'm going to put it up here anyway. And then gardenless houses and home offices. Well, we happen to build this garden here, so why don't we put the gardenless houses nearby it. I'm hoping to save... Oh, I should have done that differently. I was hoping to save a bit of this for the um, gas, but that might be okay anyway. We shall see. I could potentially put it on the roof of those, though, I suppose. Why don't we do something weird like, like this? Next. Gas tank, thank you. Oops, gas tank. I press the wrong button. Q does like a toggle between Q and E do, so I keep pushing the wrong buttons here. Which means it's probably geared toward mobile devices too. Just guessing here, but uh, let's see. We can put this in here as long as it's at least... Yeah, I don't want to go there, but if it goes here, it should be fine. And it is lighting up all those gas thingies that we needed. So I think we could go here. It makes everybody else happy. Perfect. The home office needs electricity and... I think it was electricity and gas, wasn't it? Um, we could keep building that in this area. Maybe put it like this. I like that. That's crazy. Oh, I screwed up, though. I don't have a garden close enough. Okay, we'll have to put a garden up there somewhere. And these needed electricity, if I remember correctly. I could put one out here like that. No, they needed water, but they got water, so that's fine. Oh, they got they two things. It must have been water and electricity then. Okay, so we need a garden for that one. Let's see. This needs water. Or there is water. Gardenless house needs needs a garden, of course. And another gas tank. Alright, can I put that maybe on the roof of one of these factories? That support means that I could put 
something out above this garden, for example, like that. A gardenless house, for example, would be a great thing to put above a garden. Uh, but it needs power and water, which I did not do. So let's put this one over here, then. Uh, oh, we can build on top of the power things? Ooh. Crazy like that. We can do a water tank, but if we do, it leaks, so it's going to destroy something. Um, so I put it down on the ground, which I do still have some ground space left. So maybe I do, like, this. If I can get it to affect... Oops, if I can get it to affect that... This, this house up here, that'd be great. That'd be great. Uh, control? Mmm... -hmm. It doesn't... It's not... It's not... Um, oh, I can put it on the support structure, though. Yes, I can. Okay, that's fine. Put it right there. Boom. Gardenless house. Uh, needs a garden. And what's it? Power and water? Pile those up here some more. Um, if I could put one, like, here... Then I could, like, put one like this. Those aren't close enough to water, though. Bummer. Should have done one and then checked. That'll teach me. Park. There's some place we need to park. So up here, on the roof. Can I do this kind of weird, like... Like this? There we go. Gardenless house. Needs water, power... Water, power, and a garden. So maybe like this. No, it doesn't need... Or maybe it only needs water in a garden. That could be. This goes here. Only you. Perfect. Okay. It's getting big. Okay, we need, definitely need to put a water tank out here. The biggest issue with that's going to be... It leaks. Do I have a platform, a cantilevered platform here someplace? Did I put one on? Did I put one on? Don't think out here there is one. Which is a problem for, the, for these two to get water. Because it will destroy the building below it, right? Including the same building or support buildings. The closest support building I have, I think, is that one. And I don't think that's going to be close enough. If it even lets me put it in there. Hmm. So this I'm just going to have to put on the ground floor or something. And uh, kind of eat it a little. Waste it a little. To home office eye. I do like that. Except that that's still a power issue. Okay. Next. There's power. Great. I'm gonna put that right up here on the roof then. Shouldn't put it all the way to the edge. Because then I will um I'll just lose effects of it, but something like that. And of course we get another support here. Uh let's put put it out here. So that we can put water tank on it next time. Perhaps. Oh we got two supports actually. Uh-huh. Maybe one over here then, too? And then a portable house. Wallyville. Nice. Alright, so that got us to 1,100 people. So that's what this progress bar is showing. It's each of these steps here. We got another internet satellite, I think. Oh, of course, I didn't even read the other ones. I just clicked it. Hmm. Can I just set these factories on top of each other? Oh, I can. Of course, that one I will have to put up onto a roof somewhere. 
Not that one, but maybe like this one here. And then more supports. Well, that's kind of good. You can't support from support. Maybe we could go there. And maybe we could go over here someplace like that. Next. Gas tank. Definitely want to put it up here someplace. Um, could go with like this. Portable house, apartment complex, and home office. What was the apartment complex's requirements again? Gas, I think. Might have been something else too, but... Gas and water. Okay. Home office? This was... Power? And garden. Portable house. Gas. Excellent. Next. Park. Gardenless house. And a home office. We have a park there. Maybe we could put one out here someplace. Just to kind of... Um, Spread them around a little. Need water. Um, there we go. Well, another one on top of it. And then a home office. Maybe something like that would be crazy enough to work. Alright, next. Another electric generator. A casino. Maybe a blast or bless maybe a blast or bless your day. Be careful. Can we put that in like down here someplace? Maybe. Okay, it went there. And... Neutral, I guess. Power, that probably means putting one out here. Um, just kind of spread it around a little. Supports. Those are good to have. Any support from here? Yeah. And maybe from in there. Can I get one in there somehow? Maybe? No, but we could potentially put it up here. Guess it would have to go up there. That's fine, though. Technically works. A big house. I heard there's a party inside. Okay, we haven't had a big house before, so let's just kind of get it close to a bunch of stuff, and hopefully we can figure out what it takes. Uh, gas, electricity, water is the only issue. Gonna, gonna be the only issue, I think. Because we need a new water tank. It needs water and electricity. You're not close enough to electricity there? Well, crap. Portable house. Kind of wedge it in here like that. And then a gardenless house. Oh yeah, you need water too. Crap. And then let's come over here so that I can be prepared for that later. Perhaps. Next. Water. Thank you, water tank. Let's put it, make sure it's only on the support, so right there would be good. Uh, well, I do want another one for over here, but I also can't really put it in there with, without a support. So I should plan for that next time. Um, great. And then home office. I put this like... Like that. Excellent. What do we get? Some supports? Okay, let's start off with supports over here. 
And, um... I have one there, too. That's good. Be something like that. Park. Water tank. Good. We can put a water tank over here. Like that. Small houses. More supports. Big house. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Forgot what the big house took already. Where do we even build it? Is that it there? Power, maybe? I'm just gonna build it here and hope. Uh, that was the gas. Maybe. Park. Put up on a roof someplace. Like that. Small houses, more supports. There, maybe. And if I get it, yeah, right in there, something like that. Build these two small houses up here on this roof. They need electricity. And I'm not going to build them both up there. I'm going to build one of them closer to an electric generator like this. And then it needs water. All right, well. So we suffer. So we suffer. I love how the smoke's still coming up through the, the park there. Park again. Ugh. All right. Need more gas pretty soon. Let's do this one like this so it hangs off. Out of the way. Next. Another casino. again. Definitely gonna need some more power pretty soon. And some water for that. Hmm. And I guess maybe up here would be good. Although that might become too far away from the electricity. And therefore not be good. But we could potentially go in here with it. Yeah, there we go. Bingo. Oh, we get another card already. Dump, casino, internet, satellite. Mm, yeah, I guess that's fine. More supports. Source factory. We'll do that logically placed thing right there. Perfect. I put this out there too. Yep, there we go. Box that casino in. More supports are never a bad thing, especially when we need to have things like water in weird places. Like that. We could handle this one just fine. Um, how about over here though too? House factory also. Another support. Maybe we could even do one. Or else we have a bunch of service buildings. Kind of closest together. Right in here, maybe? Down lower than we have been building. Just to kind of give us another place to put some housing in. A water tank. Great. Although I only really need those two. Let's do this one over here then. Gardenless house was power and gas, I think. Which means that I want this one out here. Yep, and then the other one can be right next to it. Yep. 
More gardenless houses? We can do a block of four right here. Boom. More gardenless houses? Okay. Can do, boss. Let's push this off the edge a bit. Now we got too far away from the water, though. And the garden. Alright. Next. I think we'll just do maybe this one last turn to see where we get to. See what we get to. You want a park? Well, we can put a park up here then. A casino. Hang it off here somehow? No. Up here? There we go. That'll work. Okay, well, at least it's only neutral. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What about power? What about up in here someplace? Forgot what the apartment complex was again. Water and gas. Gardenless houses need water and gardens. I feel like I could do that over here. I could. And electricity. Okay. Be careful then. A little bit careful with that. Maybe you just do that. Oh, wait a minute. Did I, did I see electricity on the previous one? Or did I not? Oh, you want both You want everything. Oh, okay. Or close to everything. Do-do-do-do-do. I think this explains the gist of the game. Um, it's definitely more chill, uh, but you do have to strategize a little bit, and I did a fair to middling job, as usual, at that component of it, but I think that um, I think that this is a good place to end this um, to end this, this episode, to end this, this, uh, this playthrough of this demo. Uh, if you're interested in the game, take a look at it on Steam, uh, wishlist, and follow on Steam. Uh, if you are, uh, if you want to keep an eye on my channel for the rest of the week, I'll be playing more demos of games that are coming soon to Steam as part of Steam Base Builder Fest. And uh, as always, uh, like and follow videos, comments are always appreciated, especially if you have games you'd like to suggest to me to play. And I will uh, take a look at those and hopefully be able to play those this week if they uh, fit with the time and the, uh, the channel and my particular preferences. And otherwise, we will, uh, we will see you again in the next one. Um, keep, stay tuned for that. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you then. Bye for now.